You know, I won't go through everything because I don't want to keep you too long. But let's jump to verse 13. Oh, you who dwell by many waters, abundant in treasure, your end has come. Verse 14. Surely I will fill you with men with locusts. And they shall lift up shouts of war against you. Now which country is Babylon? Have courage. It is America. Study the scriptures well. Go to Revelation 18. And it explains so clearly. And it, you know, you could see it. As the angel of God said. That's how it will happen, brothers. But I have the faith. That those whose names are written in the book of life. God will not let down. God will save and we will reach the blessed land prepared for us we will be there with Christ we will sing the same song we'll speak the same language not Romanian but the same song the same language we will praise God with all of our heart and Christ himself will put on his belt and will serve us at the table we people raised in sin have the honor of being in Christ's home. You know, how close should we be to God? Amen. Some of you look very scared now. But you know, don't repent out of fear. Don't repent because God will punish this country. Repent because you want your souls to be saved. But see that when the trouble comes, that's when we'll see the difference between those who worship God and those who did not. As it says, 1,000 will fall to your side and 10,000 to your right but no one will touch you because God is with us God is Alleluia. with us now that my grandson reminded me, Mike will tell you the dream from Oregon because he forgot it. You know, as he dreamt it, he woke up, he told it to me and I wrote it down. And we put it in the newsletter for next month. And he knows it better than I can remember it. Ah, so I get to preach. <laughs> Okay, this was about a week and a half ago. We were in Oregon. It was in a hotel room. And he woke me at about four in the morning. And he said, I just had a real strong dream. And he said, it was getting very dark. And as I looked around, there were many people around me. And somehow I knew that all these people were Christians. And as it began to get darker and darker, I saw an army coming. And all of the army was dressed in black except one. And that one exception was dressed in red. And it had a sign on his forehead, and he began to speak. He said, I am Lucifer, and I've come to make war against the children of God. And all the people, you know, became scared. And then Lucifer said, who has the strength to think that they can stand against me, you know, go to the left. Those of you that don't even want to fight against me, go to your right. And he said that about only 25% of the people went to the left, and all the others heard it to the right. And then Satan gave the order, attack all of those on the left, kill them. And as the army advanced and they surrounded the little group, this is that a light began to shine from heaven and it surrounded the group. And a voice said, take out your swords and defend yourselves. And one of the people in the group asked, but what swords? And the voice said, the word of the Lord is your sword. Take it out and use it. And then they began to quote scripture from the Bible and this army stopped advancing. And all of a sudden they began to sing this song. And the army got so scared that they began to run away, run away. And then Satan became very furious. And he said, attack those on the right. And one by one, those on the right, you know, were all killed. They couldn't defend themselves. And then one of the people in the little group asked, how come those people couldn't be defended as we were? And the voice said, those people were lukewarm all their lives. 
They one foot in the world and one foot in the church. They never really had the word of God nor the power of God. And because of that they could not be defended. And he said the sun began to shine and all the black clouds began to disperse. And there was only one cloud left with Lucifer and his army on it. And Lucifer began to shake his fist at the little group. And then it disappeared. You know, and it, he said as he looked around he saw many people that he recognized. You know, in the little group that he knew as Christian brothers. Excuse him. <laughs> and he said that this strengthened him very much. You know, so that was the dream. Well, I thought about the dream that I had. And my belief is that something will soon start against the Christians. Because Lucifer was trying to take revenge on Christians so hard. 